Are you Jadali? Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I am fine, sir. What about you, sir? Nice. You got there today in the class? Mm, mm, yes, sir. Uh, uh, internet problem, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Today is uh, the division day. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Tomorrow is test. Yes, sir. Let us start uh, revision. The best way that I will ask you questions, topic-wise, I will I will ask questions, and you have to you have to reply me. Keep in mind this thing that your answers should be according to point. Don't skip. You need to take care about it. Okay, I'll ask you first of all, you have to tell me that uh, uh, why it was impossible for Muslims and Hindus to stay together in the subcontinent. Because uh, Muslim <coughs> cannot be uh, prayed uh, their their uh, their prayers, sir. They cannot be able to follow Islam on uh, in subcontinent. No, the no. Hindus. No, because Hindu, everything was uh, quite opposite, opposite from each other. There was nothing uh, matching between two nations. Everything yes, was sir. quite different. Muslim are different. Yes, sir, different. A to Z, everything was opposite between Hindu and uh, Muslim nations. So it was impossible to stay together in the subcontinent for Muslims and Hindus in the subcontinent. Okay, it is the answer. To the point, answer. It looks like mathematics now. I ask you next question. Uh, do you know about uh, do you know about it that who was Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan? Who was he? Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan was a great leader of Pakistan, sir. Great leader for Muslims, sir, in subcontinent, sir. He do his he any struggle for uh, our separate homeland, sir. He was the first person who who took the Aligarh College, sir, and <clears throat> many other schools uh, in different cities, sir. And that's all, sir. Okay. Sir so, Sebel Khan uh, was scholar for Muslims in the subcontinent. He played major role for betterment uh, for Muslims in the subcontinent. He told to Muslims uh, that they have to get education education is obligatory for them, especially he focused to English language. He told the Muslims that since when you don't learn English language, you can't get progress or development in the subcontinent for this purpose. He wrote many books. He opened uh, institutes for this purpose. He opened Aligarh College and Aligarh University only for Muslims. He played major role towards betterment and improvement for Muslims in the subcontinent. So it's a simple okay answer regarding Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan. Who was he? I ask you next question. What happened on 28th May 1998 in, in Pakistan? Nineteen ninety-eight, sir. On 28th May in, in 1998, what happened in Pakistan? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't. I took a question. This. On 28th May in 1998, what happened in Pakistan? I think Pakistan announced 
atomic power Pakistan did seven atomic experiments and announced, and announced from the world yes, sir. as atomic power on 20th yes, 1998 by seven atomic experiments at Chag in Pakistan. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. How are you, Black Hooker? I am fine, sir. Okay. Uh, how are you, sir? Nice. Today is revision day, okay? So, uh, I started revision uh, for test tomorrow. Yes, sir. I ask you next question. Yes, sir. What happened in 1974? Anyone can apply me, no problem. Uh, Pakistan started the atomic uh, atomic uh, research, sir. Atomic program. Pakistan started yes, the atomic sir. program in 1974. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, would you like to tell me that why Pakistan is important for us? Why is it important for Pakistan for us as a Pakistani? Pakistan is important for us because Pakistan is our homeland, sir. Uh, we are living in Pakistan. <clears throat> our country is Pakistan, sir. Uh, we we uh, our national our nationalism is Islam, sir. Pakistan is the Islamic country, sir, and we are living in this country, sir. Therefore, it is very important for us, sir. Yes, our forefathers after offered many sacrifices for Pakistan, so we can't ignore the yes, sacrifices uh, from our our forefathers. Our forefathers. Yes, has sir. important for us. We were born in Pakistan. We spent our childhood in Pakistan. We got early education in Pakistan. We got higher education in Pakistan. We do jobs in Pakistan. We do business in Pakistan. So Pakistan is most important for us as a Pakistani. We have our separate ID cards as Pakistani. We have our separate our passports as Pakistani. We have everything in Pakistan. So Pakistan is most important for us as a Pakistani for us. I ask the next question. Who will tell me that what happened in 1951 in Pakistan? Mm, sorry, sir, I don't know. I repeat my question. Mm, yes, sir. sir. We lost Kashmir. In 1951, what happened? In Pakistan, Khan Lakhdar Khan was killed at Lakhdar Bagh in Alton. Sorry, sir. Khan Lakhdar Khan was killed at Lakhdar Bagh in Alton in 1951. Okay, sir. What happened in 1948? Uh, we lost Kashmir, sir, by uh, war, sir. And also, sir, Qaeda Azim Ahmad al was died. Yes, why not? Quite right now. Two tragedies took place in 1948. Qaeda Azim was died on 11 September 1948, and Pakistan lost Kashmir. Who was Arfa Kim? Who was she? Who was Afar Karim? Who was she? My question is. Mm, she created a software at his early age. And uh, his name was. Uh, her name. Her written name. In, her, his, her name. Her, her name was written in uh, Guinness book. Guinness, Guinness. Guinness book of records. Guinness book. Guinness book of records. Guinness book of records. Yes, sir. In Guinness Book of Record, all world records are mentioned. Yes, sir. Okay, I ask you next question. What happened in 1971? Anyone can apply me now. The war had uh, uh, happened in 1971, sir. <laughs> And
Pakistan lost East Pakistan in 1971. After war with India. Division of uh, Bengal, sir, I think. Yes, sir. Pakistan lost East Pakistan in 1971. What happened in 1979? Uh, Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto was hanged on, uh, sir, I think. Certainly, right. Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto yes, was sir. hanged up in fake murder case. Yes, sir. As a Prime Minister of Pakistan. What happened on 8th October in 2005? An earthquake had happened, sir, in Kashmir. There we lost a lot of uh, lives uh, of uh, <coughs> Muslim and loyal lives, and also the house uh, and also the house of Muslim uh, were uh, were uh, uh, were converted into scrap, sir, uh, in this earthquake, sir. Yes, as a result. Uh, seven point yes, uh, seven point eight is the uh, is the that earthquake, sir. Yes. Uh, it was you know that it was uh, a severe earthquake came in Pakistan. And as a result, mostly precious lives were damaged. It was major loss for Pakistan. On pro property base and human lives base, it was major shock for Pakistan. It was major or main tragedy for Pakistan, especially in Kashmir. Major losses took place in Kashmir. I ask you next question. Now you tell. That uh, what happened in 2016 in Pakistan. I think no, not two, uh, 2016, in 2014, what happened? APS, APS attack in KPK happened, as if their most students were died by terrorist attack, okay? This tragedy took place okay, in sir. 2014. 2014, it happened. What happened in 1857 in the subcontinent? And the subcontinent uh, broke <clears throat> broke into two pieces, sir, uh, like Pakistan and Hindustan, sir. It is the uh, it is the Suppression of Muslim and Hindu, sir. Hmm. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. I think it is a uh, Muslim lost their uh, uh, thousand years uh, uh, rule, sir, uh, on subcontinent, sir. British Empire, uh, uh, British Empire uh, built up their built their uh, government on subcontinent, sir. Muslim lost their. A uh, thousand years uh, rule, uh, rule on subcontinent, sir. In 1857, British rule captured the subcontinent and Muslims lost their government. Very simple answer. Can you tell me about what was the attitude of Hindus uh, with British rulers when uh, British rulers captured the subcontinent? 
what was the attitude uh, attitude from hindus uh, uh, towards uh, british rulers can you explain it so uh, hindus uh, mm, mm, uh, give up uh, to british rulers uh, they uh, think uh, that uh, they were uh, were they were be uh they will be success by the uh, by in the uh, by um, british rulers sir they they shake hand with british rulers sir hmm. yes yes sir you are right now hindus cooperated with british rulers and learned english language and uh the attitude was positive from hindus uh, towards uh, british rulers hindus cooperated with british rulers and welcomed them in the subcontinent okay what was the uh, attitude uh, from muslims uh, for british rulers can you explain it now Uh, Muslim shows a negative negative attitude towards the uh, British rulers. Sir, they cannot uh, they cannot uh, uh, be can they cannot be with the uh, British rulers. Sir, they they say that uh, we are not uh, learn English language and they we not able to learn uh, able to in British rules. Sir, uh, work with the British rulers. Sir, yeah, quite right. Muslims hated from British rulers and also hated from English language. Muslims did not cooperate with British rulers because Muslims were angry and upset. Why British rulers captured their government? And Muslims, as a result, Muslims showed negative attitude for British rulers. Okay. Muslims did not cooperate with these British rulers. I ask you next question: What is the national language of Pakistan? Urdu, sir. Complete answer I need. I did not. The national language. Uh, the national language of Pakistan is Urdu, sir. The national language is. In starting, we have to speak the, not the. The national language of Pakistan no. is Urdu. Who was the founder of Pakistan? Uh, Muhammad Ali Jinnah was the founder of Pakistan. Was founder, not uh, was the was founder of Pakistan. We don't give article was, here. Yes. Okay, sir. Kaidi Azam was founder of Pakistan. What is the date of birth? What was the date of birth of Kaidi Azam? Kaidi Azam was born on. Twenty fifth December in eighteen seventy six in Karachi. Okay. The date of birth of Kaidi Azam is expected soon. I mean to say in this month. Do you know? Yes, sir. Twenty five December. 25th 25th december kaidi azam was born on 25th december in 1876 how you can define two habits our daily routine works are called habits sir yes why not What are two main types of habits? Mm, there are three main type of habits: are theory, practical, and experience. Oh, what do you mean? I ask. Good habit or bad habit? Types of habits. Oh, good there habit and bad habits, habit, sir. There are two main types of habits: good habits and bad habits. Why habits are important for us?
what is the importance of habits for us habits because, are very important for because, us everybody has habits in the world nobody can deny the importance of habits habits play a major yes, role in our lives habits have great importance in our lives nobody can ignore to habits habits are part of our lives somebody says i have not habits it's mean person is mad or abnormal in all over the world people have habits all people in the world have habits all human being in the world have habits nobody can deny the importance of habits i ask you next question i need your suggestions regarding habits do you have any suggestions regarding habits how we can give up to bad habits and how we can adopt to how we can adopt to good habits i need your suggestions we have to follow the rule of islam sir certainly uh, in our environment also affect on our habits sir certainly <clears throat> education is the um, best and most important and they to give up habit bad habits sir because it. if the person because if the person know what is good for him and what sure. is bad for him sure. then he will choose uh, the good for him sir certainly okay with you i give with you yes bab uh, next now yes uh bilal what you say i need your suggestion regarding habits Yes, sir. Habit shows our nature, hmm. and uh, we get up early in the morning and pray our prayers and read Quran. Good, good, good. And uh, we do our work in time. Yes, that's good. Good. Well, sir, suggestions. Uh, we should uh, follow our parents and teachers. We should obey our parents and teachers. We should also follow in, to our leaders. Yes, First of all, we should uh, we should follow to our religions. We should follow to Holy Quran, and we should we should follow to Holy Prophet peace be upon him. We should listen to scholars. We should study daily. We should avoid from bad company. We should join to good company. we need planning yes uh, next uh, i question i ask you how you can define to knowledge what is knowledge anyone to know about anything is called knowledge sir certain what you say bilal how you can uh, define to knowledge knowledge is a sea sir sorry samandar sir sea knowledge is sea <laughs> ilm ka darya sir knowledge is like sea like sea sir yeah uh simple we can say that uh, <clears throat> um if we know about anything is called knowledge if we have any information is called knowledge if we uh, if we are conscious or uh, aware about anything anything is called knowledge now what are two main types or kind of uh, knowledge theory and practical and experience yes, certainly there are two main types of knowledge theory and practical there are two main types of knowledge theory and practical okay you have to tell me that uh, you know what problems we have to face uh, regarding knowledge yeah, most people can't get knowledge what is the main and major problem behind what is that mostly people are illiterate sir 
mostly uh, people living in village uh, there have no facilities to gain education sir there was uh, no schools and no proper universities colleges in, in village sir the education is a uh, very 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 and very uh, less uh, and very cheap for uh, to, to for uh, poor people sir they cannot be uh, they cannot be able to pay the fee of uh, education in good schools and good colleges sir the government should have to less their fees in government in colleges and schools sir yes sir and that's also you are telling about suggestions i asked about problems okay you skip from question okay problem uh, yes. yes sir problem is that sir only problem not uh, try to tell me suggestions okay <clears throat> okay sir problem uh, that sir uh, mostly people are illiterate sir mm, there is no proper education sir the, and there is a uh, people cannot be able to pay the fee of uh, uh, good schools and good colleges sir yeah that's all the problems are in the village side most people are living in village sites sir there is no colleges and no schools sir uh, and also our country has no proper uh, education system sir yeah uh, and the uh, <clears throat> and our environment uh, uh, is running uh, that uh, uh, running in illiteracy of uh, people sir people cannot be focused on education sir they had they had no awareness about education sir and yeah. the educated people were not helping the illiterate people sir they had, they are busy in their jobs uh, in internet mostly people are busy in internet uh, like social media apps facebook whatsapp instagram that's all things sir they cannot be uh, they have not awareness about education sir therefore yes sir okay good try good try uh yes i asked from uh, bilal kokar bilal yes, sir. Uh, you tell me why uh, knowledge is important for us mm. knowledge is very important for us because it decreases the level of illiteracy and also we no 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 importance of knowledge yes you are can you tell us about importance of knowledge Yes, sir. Um, because um, <clears throat> the people uh, are not uh, people is incomplete without knowledge, sir. Uh, knowledge is very important as uh, to compare to uh, uh, to complete our life, sir. To to <clears throat> to, <clears throat> to start our life good, and uh, we are our knowledge. We are not helpless, sir. We are helpful for others, sir. If we have knowledge, sir, we can. we can do a good uh, we can uh, we can survive a good life uh, with uh, with knowledge sir we can make money make more and more money uh, from knowledge sir uh, we uh, we <coughs> we uh, we know what uh, with uh, what uh, we are and we know what uh, is going on the world uh, about uh, in uh, to from knowledge sir okay yeah, so that's all okay <coughs> uh now i throw light uh, on this uh, question by reply in the learning of islam knowledge is obligatory or education is obligatory for every muslim in all religions knowledge has great importance nobody can deny the importance of knowledge knowledge is obligatory like us Uh, as we are we are alive in the presence of oxygen like that knowledge or education is obligatory for our survival in the society or in the country or in in the world knowledge plays major role in our lives knowledge has great importance in our lives knowledge is most important for the 
lives of all the human being in the world nobody can deny the power of knowledge okay how we can increase our knowledge uh, how we can improve ourselves do you have any suggestion do you have suggestions anyone can reply me mm, yes yeah, sir we have to follow the rule of islam sir and we have to learn more and more knowledge uh, uh, gain, uh, we have to gain more and more knowledge sir whatever we can gain sir uh we have to join our seminars sir. we have to listen news sir we have to listen our leaders sir uh, we should follow our uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam sir hmm. that's all thing we can improve our knowledge sir okay uh we we'll try first of all uh, we should not kill our time we should meet with different different people we need to exchange of views with people we should discuss with people we should listen to scholars we should study daily we should use the internet for positive activities we can find anything by internet just we have to go on website and easily we can get information about anything easily we can get knowledge if we are acquired first of all we should prefer to our religions first of all we should study to religion of islam we should read holy quran with translation we should study to other islamic books we have to get complete information about religion of islam then we should study to other religions after that we should prefer knowledge about world about different subjects we should watch the tv and we should watch the tv for aimful programs we need planning we should study to english books much better we should we should study books in english we should talk in english we should listen to english we should listen to bbc and cnn we should be keen observer we should focus on study we should learn different skills we should focus our attention on theory and practical both on both things we have to focus then we can get extraordinary knowledge and then we have to apply theory and practical forget experience we have to work we should do work for experience purpose it also source of knowledge we should not kill our time we should busy our times we need struggle to find knowledge to search knowledge in according to the religion of islam you know knowledge or education is obligatory for every muslim so in the light of religion of islam you know that it, we can take as a best suggestion for muslims next uh, you know question i ask from uh, bilal khokhar bilal i ask you where from you belong i belong from srigoda okay right what is your qualification I complete my FSC 
N D A electrical. That's good. That's good. After new few minutes, the system will okay. Uh, system will disconnect. So class will go to yes, end. Sir. Okay. Just for for three to four. Yes, sir. Okay. I will not stretch the system. Uh, to the also revision, and you have to come for test in time sharp eleven a.m. Got it now? Keep no mind this thing now. Okay. Yes, sir. Dal and Shyamal. Okay. So I ask you next question. Uh, uh yes jat uh, you have to tell me what is the major and basic problem in pakistan mm, the major problem in pakistan is illiteracy sir certainly i agree with you uh, people are mostly people are illiterate, illiterate. sir they have yeah. not uh, yes sir they have, they have not uh, able to gain education sir yeah they are not interesting in education field sir Uh, are mostly people are in their agriculture field sir they were do their agriculture in their village sir yeah they have no they have no idea what no uh, no idea to, uh, about uh, gaining education sir certainly i agree with you that's also awesome. i agree with you i asked from bilal kokhar pakistan is underdeveloped country or advanced country the uh, underdeveloped country yes pakistan is underdeveloped country why not pakistan is in poverty <clears throat> okay so you need hard work uh, and uh, for test tomorrow okay i want it that uh, you have to get good marks tomorrow okay jadali and bilal yes sir Okay, and also you okay you contact with the khalik and he uh, should come in test tomorrow okay so yeah you have to contact with him you have contact number yes sir yes, i sir. have sir you have we have that he he uh, must have come in test tomorrow got it now okay sir yes sir so three students have okay you have to appear three students that uh, test tomorrow okay okay so class is going to end now we should go to the office thank you sir Welcome. Allah peace. Allah peace.